This is the lobby of the Deutsche Museum, and this is a great place to come if you like uh, aviation. Now, it costs about eight and a half euro to get in, but if you stay with me to the end of this video, I'll show you how to get in for free. We're inside the Deutsches Museum, and they have one of the best aviation museums I've seen with a lot of old German aircraft, uh, starting from World War I. You can see we have Yonkers back there, got a, a tri-motor back there, we have an ME-109, and then down below, we have the jets. We'll get down there in just a minute. Okay, we're gonna go inside the Volker tri-motor they have here in the Rex Museum. You can see you can go right inside. Let's see if we can view the cockpit. And that is the inside of the Volker tri-motor. They also have some rare aircraft. Well, they have a, a buzz bomb, a B-1 buzz bomb, an ME-162, an ME-262, and then they have some theoretical aircraft. This is a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It's called the Beckman 349. They also have a VJ-101, which flew in 1965. This is the predecessor to the Harrier. But you notice the two jets on the wings, that's, uh, they use variable pitch to fly. And also, they had an exhaust underneath here to balance the airplane. And there we have a, a 104 Starfighter, a Hansa jet. Got a lot of great aircraft in this museum. Now, this is unique. This is a Dahmer Benz uh, Stagger space transport and you can, act, I don't know if you can see this, it's actually two stages. The bottom is like a conventional airplane, the top would go into orbit. They were working on this in 1988 through 1996 and the program unfortunately looks like it was terminated in 1995. Very top they have their rockets in space museum and they have very interesting things they have the rocket cars the rocket sleds and these were the first tests that people are trying to use rockets and control them for propulsion. They also have a model of the Yonkers RT-801, which was um, designed for a suborbital and an orbital rocket. The bottom part fell away and the top went into outer space. This was based on the work of Sanger, who actually had a suborbital bomber design during World War II. And this did not take off straight up and down. It took off on a rocket sled. It, it took off horizontally instead of vertically. One of the other great exhibits down here is the U-1. This is uh, created in 1907. Uh, they started on work with this in experimentation in 1904 with the help from the Crump Company. After World War I, this thing was either going to be destroyed or handed over to the Allies. So they, they put it into the museum and they cut the sides out and you can see it today. Okay, and we are in the courtyard outside the Deutsche Museum. And one thing I couldn't tell you while I was in there, because I don't like to spread this around too much, is that if you come in the last hour, around between 4 and 5, you can get in for free. And uh, they have, for an hour, you can go through most of, if not all, of the aviation section. So, try it out for free.